Hi everyone. Okay, so another book video. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I'm so excited for this video because it's gonna like show my raw emotions reading this. I'm gonna be reading Chain of Gold and Chain of Iron and Chain of Thorns. Actually, not Chain of Thorns because the waitlist, I'll do like a separate video for that. So just Chain of Gold and Chain of Iron. Chain of Gold, the book from the library I have, this is from the library, is downstairs. So I'm just gonna show you the physical of this. I'll show, I have physical downstairs. Anyways, do you see these massive books? I am so excited for this. I mean, again, so excited to meet our Queen Cordelia. And um, I've been kind of like putting off reading the last hours after finishing the Infernal Devices because like what happened at the end of Clockwork Princess got me in the feels. I have, I just, I can't, I'm not getting over it. So, so we're going to get right into it. I might, I probably have like a different outfit completely like throughout this entire video because I'll be like leaving them like sometime, like, you know, you know what I mean? Okay, before I go, um, just a quick summary about what it is. We follow Cordelia Carstairs and basically like all of the people, like most of the people in the Last Hours trilogy are like descendants from people from Infernal Vices, like their kids. So there's like James, Harrendale, and other people. But I don't really know too much. I don't want to know too much because like I just want to dive in. But um, yeah, that is, you know, so then they deal with demons, like shadow hunters. I am so excited. Um, I'm so excited to see Tessa's kids. Stop it. I've read 50 pages, so this is a 50-page check-in. It's the next day. I've read 50 pages, and, um, just mostly it's just introductions and stuff, but I've like, the whole time, I just need a family tree on hand. Like, I forget who's whose kid. Like, I'm like, who is that? Who is this? Like, I know Matthew and Charles are Charlotte's kids. And then I get, everything's kind of muddled. Um, especially with, like, the Lightwoods. Like, <laughs> I just forget who's who. And there's some, like, I don't know. There's, like, Anna Lightwood, who's Cecily's daughter, kid. Right? I don't know. And I like Cordelia of her. Do we look alike? I hope I do. Um, and James, I ship, obviously. Come, come on. Anyways, I'm just, I'm just ready to be, I'm like, my seatbelt is in, you know what I mean? Like, I am ready, kind of. Every time, every time they mention, obviously this is spoiler filled, okay? This is not spoiler free. That's it. No, goodbye. Do not, do not leave, leave if you do not want spoilers. Anyways, every time they say like, oh, Jem Carstairs and Uncle Jem, and I'm like, the knife? You know what I mean? It's terrible. Okay, hi, it's nighttime, so I have to, I can't talk too loudly, but basically I'm at 300 pages and it is pretty insane. Like I still get confused by who's who and I all constantly have to put, like bring up the family tree. Um, but other than that, it's like super fun. I would definitely read anything Santa Claire writes. Um, I love Cordelia. I love James. I love Lucy. <gasps> Jesse. Stop it, Jesse and Lucy. Just stop it. Stop it. I am so, <laughs> I am so excited for them. I have no idea how it's going to go. Like, I hope, like, he becomes a human so they can marry. Can they marry, but, like, as a ghost? Is that a thing? I don't even know. Um, but yeah. Um, what's going on currently at 300 pages is that Grace is like, I need to marry Charles. Obviously, this is spoilers. And, like, poor James. But, like, also, like, her, like, being secretly evil, stop it. The Blackthorns, the Blackthorns are nuts. I was not expecting that, but I love it. It's funny how I just like didn't update at all, like for it was like two hundred and fifty pages. But 
what like I was getting into it and I didn't have anything to say because like nothing is really going on like the like the build up is slowly kept like you know what I mean like there's not like a huge thing but like the mystery is there and the suspense is there like 100% Okay, I have to stop this real quick. <laughs> so I'm in the middle of something. And she literally says, I slay. Yes, Cordelia, you do slay. <sighs> listen to this, listen to this. She could feel the heat of his body through her thin soul. Dress. Stop it. I am. Guess who finished Chain of Gold? Me. I'm gonna lay it out for you. Um, this is. This was really good. For several reasons. Let's break it down. Let's do the pros and let's do the cons. There were cons. <laughs> I did not. I was not as, like, as in the Infernal Devices, unfortunately. <laughs> Doesn't mean I didn't love it. I gave it a 4.5 stars. All right, the pros. I love Cassandra Clare and just everything she does. I love the characters. I love the found family. Um, I love the adventures. I love the Shadow Hunter world, you know? So those are the pros. What else is the pros? I love the romance. Oh, stop it. I love Cordelia. She's my girl. Love to see Jem and Will and Tessa and, you know, just a little bit of the clockwork people back in session. I love to see Charlotte and Henry and Gideon and Sophie and, you know, Cecily, Gabriel, you know, all of them love to see them. Um, especially Jem. I was just like, every time he'd, he'd talk, I was like, Jem! Please, like, oh, um. But we love the new cast of characters as well. I, I'm not, like, saying, like, these kids are stupid. No, I like them, too. Um, I mean, I definitely love them. Now, the cons. This is, like, an issue I don't like having with books because it pisses me off. But the cons. The main one is how some things happen out of left field. All right? Some things just don't make sense to the characters and it's just like to advance the plot and that pisses me off because I'm like there could have been another way like why is this happening and I just like I'm just like holding the book I'm like why um so like examples um, again this is not spoiler free and if you have been this far get off before I say shit whole gray situation I loved it okay I'm a sucker for thinking that she's a good person then she's actually kind of not that not that nice um love it love the love the bracelet you know that thing um kind of like i was already like but i was like you know what it's adding intrigue okay there's like three books um because everything was like tying up really nicely you know just kind of like then they just then they i mean cassandra claire <laughs> um started like adding some stuff at the last 100 pages and i was like girly we don't have time for this like i wish there was more suspense for the next book like i feel like i'm not like i don't really know what ch chain of iron is gonna like what is gonna happen in chain of iron anyways so yeah the bracelet thing already okay the second thing cordelia saying in front of the whole enclave he was with me the whole night. That is so random. And now they're getting married. But because it's just like so random. I was just like, no way this is happening. Like, what is this? What is going on? Like, come on now. Let's calm down. Like, I was not okay with that. I'm still not okay with that. That 
pulled me out of the experience so much. It was going so well. Like the whole like book was going so well. And it was really good at the end too. But then the, these things happened. And then the ending with Tatiana and how like her deal with, with the Prince of Hell and like that whole thing. It wasn't as gripping and suspenseful as the Infernal Devices was. Like you read Clockwork Angel and you knew shit was going to go down in Clockwork Prince. You knew. And plus in Clockwork Prince, then you're just like, holy crap, Clockwork Princess is gonna be nuts. But then, and here it's just like, oh, they're getting married. It's like, like even when Jem and Tessa got married, like were engaged, by the way, um, it wasn't like that crazy to me. Like if I was like, you know, sure. And that was in the second book. But anyways, all in all, I love this series. Like, I still, I mean, the book. I, I'm going to read Chain of Iron, obviously. Obviously, I'm going to read Chain of Thorns. Um, For now, that's my thoughts on Chain of Gold. Like, again, like, looking at the pros and cons, like, the pros are pretty pro-y. You know what I mean? Like, they're up there. Like, I'm not, like, I don't hate this book. I definitely recommend this book. It's It's a lovely, you know, continuation. Hate to hear Will having gray hair. Like, no way. You're still 19. What are you talking about? Um, or, like, 17, 18. Um, before I go, found family is a huge, prevalent, like, trope that Cassandra Clare uses. Infernal Devices. Last Hours Now, I'm guessing, probably in her other series in this world. Um, I love the characters. I think my favorite characters, obviously, the Mary Thieves. They're funny. They're great. Um, love Lucy. Love Jesse. Stop it. Lucy and Jesse. Stop it right now. Stop it. Stop it right now. Right now, stop. Because I swear, love them. I love the vibe there. And then oh, James and Cordelia together. Oh, the whispering room. When I was reading that, I was sweating. I was dying. That was the end of me. Like, I was screaming. It was insane. Just thinking about it made me, makes me so happy. And um, obviously Matthew and like the crew, Thomas, Christopher. I still had to consult the family tree several times. Um, but yeah, you know, there's like the other ones that we don't see that much, like Barbara. Rest in peace. <laughs> Barbara. Um, what's her name? Ar Ariadne? Ariadne? Yeah, so there's like this whole cast of characters and all of them are really lovable and I definitely love the diversity that this book has other than the infernal devices. Anyways, yes, I hope you liked this little vlog. My first one ever. This took so long to finish because I was just like, oh, I could read later and then I just don't read. But I hope you like this video. Will I make a similar video for Chain of Iron? I don't think so. Unless you want me to. Unless you want some live reactions. Because it was fun filming some live reactions. I look like Joel from The Last of Us with this... With this... Flannel. And I look like Cordelia with this hair. Anyways. See you in the next video. And I hope you had fun. And if you're just... You, you know, if you just finished Chain of Gold, or if you've already, like, read it ages ago and already know what happened Chain of Iron, don't, don't post spoilers, okay? Um, you know, if you want to talk, tell me, give me your thoughts. I want to know, because am I the only one who's noticing this weird part of that rushed, not rushed, but just doesn't seem that good. Anyways, peace out.